Salut. Oh. We're on the pilgrimage. De Saint Roch. <laughs> this is a secret spot. It's Fort Fort Chaffra. Saint Roch is uh, our patron saint of the pilgrimage. Uh, he's an inspiring figure. He is probably the first international influencer. Uh, he traveled this region. Uh, he went to Italy, he went uh, into France, and he loved to drink and to eat. <laughs> That's why he inspired us. But his adventures uh, made it all across Europe. So um, he's known as Saint Rock, Saint Rocco, Saint Roches. There's a small hike bike, and yesterday's forecast said there was snow over there. Uh, I don't get sick. All right, Josh, um, welcome to Le Pedro Roche. You've seen one of these before. They're called Breve cards. Keep it with you at all times. Please fill it in. It's a bit windy. <laughs> <laughs> Still people in the chalet? Trois, deux, un. Allez, parti! Allez, allez, allez! Le pilgrimage, a four day adventure in the French Alps. So the first stage of the pilgrimage will be the, the Pays des Secrets. The views are stunning, even if it is a, a tad bit nippy. Bon collage, bon route. The idea of the pilgrimage is that we share food together, uh, we share riding together. Each loop comes back at the base camp where we have food, where we share conversations together. And the idea is that uh, that that we have kind of yeah. It's, it's sometimes I say like it's ultra during the day, comfort during the night, and at the checkpoints we want to have some mountain comfort. K in and a third of the way through today's route. We're now climbing again for another 5k. So we have to go to the woods there, but I don't know if I will go there with my bike or leave it here because there is like a treasure. Treasure, you say? Trésor? Yeah, sorry, I'm French. So let's see. Allez, et l'autre? The pilgrimage is a three stage journey into the French Alps. We're right here at stage one, checkpoint stage one. Over there, you can see some new pilgrims coming up, getting a stamp. We have some cheese fromage. We have some sausage on the barbecue. They're halfway, they have two hours to go left. We're now at 2000 meters in altitude. And this is only the first stage. Tomorrow we go to the Galibier. We have a very nice hike bike section, section all the way to another refuge, Refuge de Drayer. And then the third stage we will go to Italy. Strada Aceta, Colle de Finestre and a checkpoint at 2,700 meters at Monte Chaffrau. How's your ride? Was it good? 
so Puis Saint Vincent is the is the is the base camp in uh, in uh, Chalet Alpelune, which will be the base camp of the three stages. The first stage and the second stage will have a, have a loop on one day, and the third stage will be a two day route. 90k into today, we've ridden a total ascent of 3,200 meters, which is mental in that distance. Yeah, looking forward to an orangina, some pasta, and uh, yeah, relax in the hot tub. Almost at the end, day one. Very good day, very good day, a bit cold at the start, but very good day. And it's nicer to ride in group, huh? nicer to ride in group. And bo. we almost kill everybody with uh, when we enter the front with Josh, but uh, we are big guy, big tight, big white, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Uh, we have more than 12 hours to rest before tomorrow, so it's the first time for us, so, so it's good. Yeah, See you like tomorrow. Good day, Lucy. Yeah, perfect. I love the climb and, uh, and the nice cat's croot. And the pasta. And the pasta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you told me on the you told me on the route you wanted the orangina, so that is. you spotted it. How was today? Yeah? Easy. <laughs> How was the fondue fromage? Oh. Yeah? <laughs> and we had sunshine? Yeah. After all? A little windy. It, it was quite windy at the uh, first beginning. Yeah. Oh, the plan is uh, the route, the old Galibier route, uh, all the way descending down on the other side. Then there's a beautiful gravel climb all the way to the, the start of the uh, Claret River. There are a few lakes, there's a small hike bike. And yesterday's forecast said there was snow over there. This morning it's beautiful um, dry sky uh, weather. Uh, that means uh, it will uh, the snow will disappear like snow uh, before the sun. So and then there at the at the end there will be uh, uh, a checkpoint Refuge de Dreyer where we have another treasure for our pilgrims. Wow, look at that. Stage two, Ola Pilgrimage, heading up to the Galibier. Can't wait, never been up there before. Looking forward to get to the snow line. And uh, yeah, it's a bluebird day. No clouds in the sky. Hopefully it warms up more than it did yesterday. Apparently, during the first Tour de France edition, the, the, the riders went to the top that way, so let's see if we can do it with a gravel bike. They did it with regular bikes, so it should be easy, but we'll see. What are your shoes for? Hiking. <laughs> Apparently, I have to hike and uh, with my bike. And these shoes are super stiff. So, and slippery. These are a little bit bendy. So, hopefully, they will make it easy. It's not even an easy hike a bike. No, I, I hate it like even if it's like a couple of hundred meters. Like now it's a 4K. As long as it's dry, it's gonna be way better than last year. We're gonna have a view this time. We might have a view. Look at the clear sky, it's amazing. We'll see. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm using my biggest sprocket too much already. That's not a good sign. 
<laughs> the world is yet to come, so we'll see. Mustache game still strong? I think the steep slopes, there will also will be a lot of wind. We're currently climbing up the Glivier. We've reached patches of ice. There's snow capped mountains to the left and stunning scenery. Absolutely mind blowing. Beautiful, it's cold, it's windy. Climbing again. Uh, we're nearly at the hiker bike and then we're dropping down to the refuge where the checkpoint in day two is. Uh, I just want to take a photo around every corner. It's just breathtaking. You just don't know where to look. It's stunning in every direction. Almost at the refuge. Just gotta hike the bikes over this walking trail. We are at Refuge de Draillère, checkpoint number two. You're here. I made it. Yeah. I was questioning the first few hours. Like It's the last climb of the day. We're in the top four. Got a lot of cheating going on. Some water getting decanted. Some holding onto vehicles. Who's gonna win? In 4.4K we will know. Probably not with me. But who knows, maybe I have something left in the tank. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it took me a moment to realize it. I was like, what, what did you do? <laughs> ah. Little trick. It was up my sleeve there somewhere. If I would have attacked, I would have done it in the last turn. But... Yeah, I'm very happy that almost in every Pilgrim reached the, the checkpoint, checkpoint number two, uh, except two ladies, but they had a very nice lunch in between. <laughs> they got distracted. Okay. But, then, but then there's, a, there's a tunnel from, I think it will be like one and a half, two kilometers, pitch dark, you need to carry a light with you. Front there's and no back. day, right? Yeah. 
Okay. It will be pitch dark in the tunnel. And after the tunnel, the road, the road will open again and then... And the road in the tunnel is shit. Okay. Morning Josh. Today it's the Queen stage. Uh, the pilgrims go out on their own for the first time. They're heading into the mountains, uh, ski area, uh, super hard climb is on the menu, super nice descent. Then uh, Strada de la Asieta and the Col de Finestre down to uh, Susa. And there people will need some food, I guess. And then tomorrow, final checkpoint on a super nice location and uh, a bonus checkpoint for you and a few other riders, mm. I guess. We're going to Italy. We're going into Italy, yeah. Get to at least Susa, maybe a bit further. Maybe an Airbnb, maybe. Well, given my setup, setup, I'm definitely not beaving, but let's see what I can find somewhere to sleep. And my Italian uh, snood on though, in honor of crossing over the border. Yeah, not looking forward to this. Where are you gonna sleep? In a boutique hotel. Start of stage three, it's a two dayer. We're heading to Italy where the coffee's better than France. The coffee should be better and cheaper. Garbage? It's a summit two out of 15. And this is it. We're in for a smooth ride, right? Need some, need some extra energy. How are you doing, Josh? Not too bad. Tough climb. Wow. What's the scenery like up here? It's pretty mind blowing, huh? It's good to get above the trees. That fucking sucked. <laughs> oh, I think we hiked a bike the last like kilometer and a half. Oh man. Glad to be at the top. Yes. It's beautiful though. Look at the mountains. Like, it's worth it in the end, but while you're doing it, you're questioning your sanity. <laughs> but it's worth it. Barcelona, which way? Which way, which way? <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's worth it, the views are nice, but there's a lot of suffering. Currently climbing up to Sestria, which is about four or five k away. Gonna stop there for some lunch, have a nice cold coke, and whatever Italian food we can find. Maybe some pasta, pizza. But Sestria, four k coke and food. That's all I need at this moment. <laughs> Ciao. I Wait. like that it's not minus four degrees now, right, right now. That's fun. Otherwise, 
we'll see. Got a long climb ahead. And I think it's still good. Good to have a Coke and pizza's delicious. bit harder to breathe given that we're now at 2400 we're gonna stay up above 22 for a while but just look around it's just amazing um, a little bit harder to push your way up here but just awesome So while we are up at, well, pretty much 2,500 meters, let's find out how, how high these peaks in the background are. They seem to be quite high up. What app are we using? We're using this app called Peak Finder. Wow, the highest peak up there is nearly 4,000 meters. It's not even that far off from the Mont Blanc, right? What did you? That's good, man. The Italian lemonade contains sugar. That's all we need. <laughs> Complain. Can't complain. Cannot complain. <laughs> How's your day been? Complain. Good day. Oh, very good day. The best. Incroyable. I have stopped the try. Oh, okay. The best part well. is the gravel. It's amazing. After, uh, amazing. Right Even the technical up and down it was super fun. Currently heading up the last climb before the 20k okay. descent down to Sousa. It's on road and then push on to find a bivy spot. Just had a great marinara pizza and some french fries. Now starting the big climb. Gonna bivy somewhere when I get out of town. But now 100k do we get back to the chalet and that's the end of the pilgrimage. Good night. You're used to getting a briefing uh, each night before the stage, and tomorrow is the last stage. We see you at the checkpoint, but there is an extra treasure. Simon. The treasure is just shared via WhatsApp in the group chat. Uh, we see each other tomorrow. The checkpoint will be open from 10 to 1 o'clock. Be safe out there, and we will see you at the checkpoint.
Good morning. Good morning. How was your sleep? Yeah, great. Great. Uh, I, there is a, uh, it's going. Sloping it's, downwards a bit. Yeah. So, um, I was uh, rolling. <laughs> rolling down the hill. You should have camped next to me, it was flat where I was. Yeah, uh, actually, um, that was my spot. <laughs> I, I already uh, discovered it uh, on, the, on the map, but uh, I saw you were there, so I left you. <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind of you. Buongiorno! Buongiorno! How was your night? Uh, <laughs> I woke up this morning in my bivvy and got up just before the sunrise and had a nice morning of riding into the, the glowing mountains. And then I passed Michelle, who is uh, camped in his tent on quite the gradient. And he tells me he was, he was sliding down to the bottom of the tent. I waited for him to pack up and we've just come round the corner and we've found the most amazing flat pitch that he could have been on, like a hundred meters from where he was camped, sliding into the bottom of his tent. I was tired. <laughs> Made it to the checkpoint. Um, it's currently just me and Javier at the checkpoint. Um, we're half an hour early. Um, the most amazing, like a kilometer tunnel through the mountain on a gravel track, which is some engineering feat. Hot tub, that's all I can think of. Hot tub. <laughs> have you been in it yet? No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't have shorts with me. Maybe just with the bib shorts. But yeah, I mean, cannot complain with the temperature. But you're gonna go into the hot tub with dirty bib shorts. If you don't tell, if you don't tell Simon, yeah. But <laughs> let's see, let's see. But I mean, we have been lucky also today with the weather. We are at 2,200 meters, and it's still okay to be short, short. But but yeah, in theory, we have to climb up to. 2800 if we have to if we want to find the treasure so let's see you yeah welcome to the checkpoint yeah <sighs> glad to be here yeah. no one else is here <laughs> yeah <laughs> tunnel was a little bit scary last two stages i've treated myself to an orangina cold orangina after every stage after this one i'm gonna have two um well deserved Night in the bivvy, in the Italian Alps, crossing back into the, the French Alps uh, soon. This is the Caserma del Sigouret. It's named after the tunnel. Up the other side, there's a very long tunnel, pitch dark. And this is checkpoint number three, final checkpoint of the pilgrimage. And then we're heading back to Jale Alpaloon. After this we are heading back, but first there is a treasure to be picked up. <laughs> Yesterday evening we shared the coordinates. A few of them are willing to go there. I think you will add some extra altimeters. It's up to them. Afterwards they will descend back into the valley, cross the border to France and head back to the base camp. That's my name. <laughs> I, t I asked you to keep it dry. Are you going for the treasure? I am. Okay. Enjoy. Checkpoint three. That's one. Hey, man. Full Rave card of the pilgrimage. Well done, man. Normally, when there is a treasure, there is only one person. There's enough. Of there's enough treasure for everyone. Riding on the most insane road. I feel so isolated and remote with fortresses 
the snow capped mountains. It was hard to get to this fortress because you could see that it was a lot of cobblestone so I was worried about puncturing but, but yeah we made it we are true pilgrims this is the secret spot it's Fort Fort Schaffrau there's a treasure treasure box for each pilgrim you can leave a note you can make a photo you can grab some cheese or take them so take some sausage we have even some chenopee it's elf liquor That meant to be a tree. <coughs> it's a help. It's a it's a herb. You only will see it. You'll now know why I don't make it back. <laughs> it's this. <laughs> you will like to be said more. <laughs> We're now climbing up and out of Italy and heading back over to France. Food tonight, sauna, jacuzzi and a bed 